amazing bike. Look at this. What traction, amazing traction. Whoa. Wow. 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 What the hell? Like I was using my feet because I was expecting traction to break at any moment. It just just came up. What the hell? So, the Tenere 700 World Raid with the signature double fuel tank. A bigger, like a broader shoulders, let's say. Broader shoulders, so you, you are more protected by the bike. So that means that on road the bike feels more comfortable than the other one. It feels also a bit a bit more planted, I would say. There is also the steering dampener from Olin's, uh, and it has, it is adjustable. Thanks to it, on the road it feels solid as a rock. And off-road, uh, well, I'll tell you later. I like how the seat extends all the way to the, the, the middle of the fuel tanks. This looks very, very rally style. I, I love it. What else? There's a lot of new buttons that we didn't have on the previous version. We also have, uh, let's say, more colorful and more complex uh, dashboard. One thing I don't like is the fact that uh, the ABS resets when, when you turn off the bike. And to turn off the ABS, you cannot do it while riding. Like, you have to stop the bike, go to the menus. It's like three menus inside the menus you have the ABS and the old model just had like a button that you could press and that I think that works much better. Actually what works much better is the Husqvarna system where whatever settings you have the bike keeps those settings even if you turn the bike off because 99% of the times I forget or, or I can't be bothered to spend 20 seconds turning off stuff what I like about this bike is that although it's heavier than the previous model, it doesn't feel heavier at all. Or let me rephrase that. It feels heavier when it's good to have a heavy bike uh, because on the road it feels more stable. Off-road it has like a... because of the steering dampener as well, which I'm loving. It feels more like a more stable bike than the T7 was. The T7 felt like a nimble bike, but then it had a high center of gravity and it would just top off. And this one has a lower center of gravity, so the weight kind of makes more sense. Uh, so, so this, the, the World Raid has longer suspensions than the, the original T7. I think two or three centimeters longer, bigger. And not only that, they feel well, way more stiff and dampened, um, which most people will enjoy. Like, I cannot feel at all these things on the road. They, they are rocks maybe this big, so not huge, but I don't feel them. I don't feel them. The bike is just, just going. However, on potholes and stuff that it's slightly bigger, the bike is reactive. It um, feels a bit ready to race, uh, which is good. Like, you can ride this thing really hard and it doesn't bottom out. Uh, however, it's not... I don't think it's as comfortable overall as the, the original T7. Of course, you can adjust the suspensions, they are fully adjustable. Oh, I, th I think they even have preload on the front suspension, which is unusual, rare. Most bikes don't have this. I really like the steering dampener. It makes the bike feel a lot more stable than the previous one. It helps a lot on rocks, loose rocks, on uh, sand. Uh, makes the bike like cut through things on a, in a straight line, which is very welcome, of course. And these things like make heavy bikes feel lighter because they are so stable that the the weight becomes an advantage. Because basically the bike fights the ground and wins. So what else? It comes with a Pirelli STR tires, so the same as the other one. I don't really like these tires that much. Uh, but I, I, I'm getting used to them and I, I, I have come to accept them. Considering they are so good on the road, I cannot complain off-road. Like, they are really good road tires and then you can go anywhere with them. So, so in the end, you know, they are good tires, I guess. So, so the bike feels immune to the ground. 
and that's the greatest feeling for me is to have a bike that goes off road and, and you don't you feel that you're not hurting it because you're not bottoming the suspensions nothing is clanking and and and, and banging and whatever uh, yeah Yeah, 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 but I would be very happy with this one. I think it suits me. I like Yamahas. I own a Yamaha MXT 660 RR <laughs> because mine is special. I made it special. Uh, yeah. yeah, I really like this. I really, 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 really like this. The engine is smooth. It's uh, I don't know, and it's always in third gear. Look at this. I'm just. I think it rolled down and up and, and around these rocks. Um, still in third gear, 30 k's an hour. Just tramples these rocks like it's nothing. Ah, such a good bike. So, so plush, it's so plush. <laughs> oh, I love this. I love it. I love it. So, as you guys know, I have some experience with the Northern 901. And I really like that bike. Comparing to the T7 World Wraith, I would say that I think these suspensions, because they are slightly bigger uh, than the ones on the Northern, they feel a bit better. Like the Northern has a lot of performance, a lot of grip, a lot of traction. Overall, I feel more confident riding it, but you find its limits sometimes, like the, especially the shock on the back. Sometimes you hit something a bit harder and the bike yeah, <laughs> makes a noise, you hit the, um, the bottom of the shock or something like that. So you have to, you can ride it really fast, but there's a limit. And the T7, the original one, and it seems that the World Raid is the same, it's hard to, 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 to find its limits. Like the bike always feels plush, always feels happy to hit stuff. I think it does it a bit better than the Northern. It has a low center of gravity, not as low as the Northern. And the seat is not tall, but not as short as the Northern. And so in that situation, very technical, low speed situations, I still prefer the Northern. Uh, however, it's very close. It feels very close. And that's impressive.